Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So I have been doing a lot of videos lately and especially videos around web application, mobile application, iOS app, Android apps, talking a little about operating system, PowerShell, Python codes, etc. But I have never been doing any videos around reverse engineering, right? So what I thought is I will take it an opportunity to talk a little about reverse engineering and show some quick demos of reverse engineering, right? So what am I going to show? Now what I'm going to do is I am taking an example of this application. This application is called the Vault. The name of this application is called the Vault. What does the Vault mean? Vault mean it is a container where you store something sensitive or expensive, right? So this is also something like that. It is asking for a username and a password in simplest forms. It's asking for a name and a key. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in a username and a password. Let's see what happens. Right. I'm saying username Vinod, password Ajay. And I say test. What does it say? It says no access. It says no access, which means that the entered username and password is a wrong username password. Right. So what am I going to do? What am I going to do is I am going to open this exe file right understand how this authentication is happening and how is it allowing access to this particular application by entering the right username password so i say test it says no access i say give up it says closed right you understand now before we uh, start that i want you to understand how do you open a txt file you open the txt file with notepad.exe correct how do you open a doc file? You open a doc file with winword.exe, correct? How do you open a JPG file or how do you open a PNG file? You open it with mspaint.exe or paintbrush.exe, right? My question is, how would you open a exe file? Wow, we know this is a question I did not think about. I double click it and magically opens, right? Exactly. It magically opens. But the question is, how is it magically opening? It is simple. There is something called the libraries, which are part of your operating system itself, which help a exe file to run in Windows. In Windows, it's the exe file. Likewise, for every other operating system, it's different, right? Like you have sh file for Linux, Mac, etc. Right? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, I am going to open something called OLLIDBG, which is otherwise called the debugger. What is a debugger utility? Debugger, you know, compiler, you know, interpreter. Compiler is a uh, application that compiles a whole piece chunk of code at once, right? It's, it compiles a whole piece of code and converts it to, from a high level language to a machine language. Excellent. What is the interpreter? Interpreter does almost similar, but line by line, interprets it line by line, correct? What does a debugger do? Debugger does something interesting, debugs the application for any errors. So what I am doing right now is I am opening the debugger. Right? This is how the debugger application would look like. Okay, beautiful. And now what I'm going to do is this exe file is there, right? As we open a txt file inside notepad.exe file, I am opening this exe file. I am just dragging and dropping this test1.exe file here. Please pay attention. This portion or the first column that you find here is called the physical offset address location. It is a unique value. For example, I want to send a courier to you or a mail to you, right? I need to exactly know your physical uh, home address. It will be unique in nature. Only then the uh, courier will uh, reach you properly, right? Okay. So we are clear that the first column is physical offset address location. Second is the pseudo code. Third is the assembly and fourth is the ASCII. Please pay attention. This first column is the physical offset address location. Second one is the pseudo code. Third one is the assembly language. And fourth one is the ASCII, right? Now, please pay attention. Whenever we 
use an application where the username and password is hard coded when i say hard coded username and password is stored inside right so what i'm uh, doing is please pay attention i double click this application when i double click this application is asking for the name password okay when i am typing in username vino and password ajay it is saying no access right and open notepad right and inside notepad what i do is i drag and drop the test1.exe when i drag and drop the test1.exe let me make it a little bigger i am scrolling all the way like this okay i is there anything interesting that i'm able to find okay wow see this there is something i'm able to read as in plain text robin banks and something which looks like a username and a password to me but let us give it a shot let's give it a try i'm what i'm doing is i'm using a default utility called notepad to do this right so what do i do i actually open this I am typing a username here, right? And there is a password that I am going to copy, which is available here. I copy it, correct? And now what I do? I open. this type it here and let's click test oh wow how beautiful is that it says how did you get in have you stolen my password <laughs> which simply means that we have compromised the applications binary protection got access to a username password which is available in clear text as a hard coded data inside the applications binary and we read it off the shelf using a default utility called notepad.exe right now assume I don't have notepad.exe, right? I mean, obviously, everyone will have notepad.exe. But what I do is in this ASCII column because that's where the passwords usually are ASCII format, right? So what do I do? I uh, do a right click, search for all reference strings. When you do that, it clearly gives this is the username and this is the password. How simple and how interesting it is. right so this is a very interesting technique for me to help you understand how a binary protection can be reversed and broken you can use hexadecimal editors uh, or uh, debuggers to open a exe directly and read it off in fact i used a text editor to open the file and uh, read the password in case you found this interesting in case you think that you have been coding it wrong so that the passwords can be clearly available as a, a clear text for attackers consider changing your technique of storing the password as a hard coded password right so in case you found this interesting and in case anyone else would love this content please consider sharing and subscribing thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity